This is a lesson on comparing and ordering unit fractions. And what a unit fraction is, is it's a fraction with a numerator of 1. So that means that if the top number is 1 in a fraction, then it is a unit fraction. Here are three examples. So 1 over 2 is a unit fraction. 1 over 10 is a unit fraction. And 1 over 1 is a unit fraction. You could also have 1 over 200. It would still be a unit fraction, as long as there is 1 in the numerator. Now, um, with different unit fractions, the equal parts of the whole have different sizes. Now what that means is, you can see it in the example here. So here we have two strips that are the same size, they're the same length. But one represents one quarter, so it's, it's broken up into four equal pieces, and one is colored. And then the other one is um, broken up into, uh, here we go, fix that, ten equal pieces, and one of them is colored, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces, and one is colored in. So, um, we can say that one quarter has four equal parts in the whole, one, two, three, four, and one tenth has ten equal parts in the whole. So, they're all equal parts. I didn't make this one very equal, just fix it. Okay. Um, now, fourths are larger than tenths. Now, this might get tricky because normally you think that um, ten would be larger than four. But in the case of fractions, and in the case of unit fractions, fourths is larger than tenths. <clears throat> okay, and that is because you can see right here, this blue space, this colored in space, is bigger than this colored in space. And that's why fourths are larger than tenths. So that means that since we're just coloring one in in each one, that one-fourth is greater than one-tenth. Now remember that the greater than symbol um, points towards the right, and think about it as the alligator. The alligator always eats the bigger number. So the opened part is, is toward the bigger number, and it's pointing at the smaller number with the arrow. Okay, now it's time for you to practice. So it's pretty basic. I think that uh, you won't have too much trouble with it, but you try it and see for yourself. So after I read the instructions, you pause and try it. So it says, order these fractions from least to greatest. Now that's probably your biggest fault is no, people don't read this carefully enough. So the smallest fraction to the biggest fraction. Draw a picture to show how you know. And that picture is going to look similar to this, probably. All right, so pause now and uh, play again once you have finished. OK, so now that you've finished, let's see how you may have done it. All right, well, my, uh, my rectangles are going to be, they're going to be teal. And then I'll divide them up into purple, I guess. Uh, so I need three of them, one. And they need to be about the same size. Two, three. Now, what I need to do is to divide each fraction up based on, or divide each strip up based on each fraction. So here's one eighth. There's one third. And there's one fourth. So, um,. Now we have to order them from least to greatest. So that means that the smallest amount shaded in to the greatest amount shaded in. So that means that my first fraction would be 1 8. We put a comma in between our fractions. Uh, the next one would be 1 quarter. Then we put another comma. And last, our biggest one is 1 third. So that's the basics of what you'll be doing. Um, now we can come up with a fraction rule as well, so that we can figure this out without having to draw the picture. Sometimes it'll ask you to, so you do need to draw that to show you understand why, but this is a rule. So the fraction with the smallest denominator 
and this is when it's a unit fraction only. The fraction with the smallest denominator is always the largest fraction. Right? One third was the smallest denominator and the largest fraction. All right, so your assignment is page 192, numbers 1 to 3, and number 5.